What is going on, fam? I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I really want to speak on this because I made a video about this a while back and I talked about how there were Instagram models who were upset because that they were going to hide the like uh the like numbers which would affect their quote unquote brands and here we have in this situation an IG model who had a meltdown she posted a video and basically was talking about how she basically had to take time off because she could not understand why they would do this why you know you can't see the likes the likes have been going down ever since they were hiding them or her individual likes have been going down even though when i go to the page i still see the likes but maybe you know certain people in certain countries can't see it uh even though much of their traffic probably comes from the u.s now this particular ig model she's from australia okay so I don't know if it's if it's different there. Y'all can let me know if y'all notice the difference. But she posted this video and she was very emotional. And she was crying out and freaking out because they were making these changes. And I want y'all to understand something. This particular situation is highlighted because YouTube, not YouTube, but Instagram understands that their platform has become a bit of a cesspool. They understand there are a lot of women making money just off of how they look uh, by, you know, um, basically putting themselves on the market, quote unquote. And because of that, also take into consideration that there are women who don't get as many likes as certain other women. Right. And that bothers them. And I think they're complaining about it, you know. I honestly believe that Instagram is a place of a lot, a large scale insecurity on a lot of part, a lot of the part of women, because, and I spoke about this in my live show, you have women who feel like they have to enhance themselves because if you have a woman who's cute and attractive from a small town and she moves to a bigger city, she's going to see that she has a lot of competition and she may have been a nine in her town, but in a city like Miami or New York or L.A., she's a she's a solid six, maybe even a five. Depending on, you know, what's being chosen out there. And it causes these women to get deeply insecure and causes them to also have to enhance themselves while they get bigger assets or bigger tits do stuff to their face like i believe this particular female i believe she's done something to her face we're gonna get into the article instagram influencers are going through it or are they though thanks to the social media platform's new light count band which has already been rolled out in canada australia new zealand ireland Italy, Japan, and Brazil. I, I, and this is a side note. I figured it would be in Canada due to all the feminism that's up going up there. I, you know, a lot of the guys who I know from Canada who make content there is very feminist up there. It's very SJW. So that wouldn't surprise me that Canada would do this with all the, you know, you know, feminism and this empowering all women to be beautiful nonsense that's going on which I'm, i mean you know every woman is beautiful in her own way we get that symbolism but it again it would not surprise me that canada would be on the top of the list of hiding the like button to make all of these particular women feel good about themselves also brazil too because there's a lot of attractive women in brazil so it's very interesting they would roll this out in brazil in fact, some anonymous influencer called into a live Australian radio show to complain, saying, I used to work on Instagram six hours a day, but now I'm working eight hours a day because the likes are going down. And that's just a demonstration of what certain pages look like. They don't have the likes. And this is all part of a, you know, make, you know, women feel good about themselves you know, campaign that's on social media right now. 
because there are women there are women who feel inadequate they feel like they can't compete so they complain or they do these body positivity they shame men into wanting to date them and what happens is you got platforms like instagram who notices this and they probably have people working for them as well and they want to make all these women feel good about themselves but that's not going to happen and the reason why it's not going to happen is because you ha men are going to like what they like they're not going to change what they like this is simple as that if if you are attractive and men like your pictures they're going to like those they're going to comment on those so they're going to hide the comments too Uh, see, because listen, these chicks' self esteem is already low. <laughs> it, it's all the self esteem is already low. The IG model says she has 205,000 followers, and that the since and since the change happened, I'm getting roughly 1200 likes a day now. Uh, she explained that while she has a full time job, she makes a significant amount of money from influencing, and her likes are a huge part of that. I even make money off the airlines too. That's how you get sponsored and get free flights too. Every thousand likes we get, we probably get around a thousand dollars in Aussie money. It all depends on the brand and how popular they are and how many likes and followers we get. Instagram said the rest, uh, let's see that the rest would create a less pressurized environment on the app and make it feel less like a competition since users will be able to see who liked their posts but not how many likes other people got obviously this is going to have a huge impact on influencers who rely on likes and not just follower count as a way to prove their audience engagement to potential sponsors and this is what more women are doing. Listen, I'm all for entrepreneurship. You know, I make videos on YouTube, you know, and I understand that you don't have to work a nine to five job if you don't want to. But to me, what this seems like is that they want to separate the Instagram girls from the established celebrities like your Kim K's and all those types, the reality TV stars, the um, other top tier celebrities, musicians, actresses, they want to they want to separate that because it seems to me that the Instagram influencers are doing better than some of those other you know known females in the industry. And I think that has a lot to do with it as well. I don't think Instagram is doing this out the kindness of their heart. I think they have an agenda to de-promote the women who are getting the surgical enhancements. Because if you look at this particular female here, and this is basically who the video is about. Uh, what I'll see about doing is putting the video maybe at the top of the uh, start of the video so y'all can see it. But... I believe she's had some type of enhancements on her face, like a lot of these chicks. That's what they all look alike now. Uh, you, you can't even tell the difference sometimes unless you see their pages yourself, their names or whatever. And you have two lanes of this. You have the people who are the um, known celebrities, then you have the Instagram influencers who only have a brand on Instagram. And also you have the body positivity crowd that wants a fair shake when it comes to attention on social media. It's, it has to do with attention at the end of the day. Um, if you are a known influencer, people are still going to utilize your audience because at the end of the day, the comments are still gonna be there. Um, if a celebrity liked your, pic, uh, liked your picture, they're gonna still see their name unless they change that too. I just think that you have these IG models, man, who, rely so heavily on Instagram for attention to feel good about themselves, self-esteem. I don't think these tears are just about money. I think it has a lot to do with self-esteem. You have these particular females who get self-esteem boosts by the like count. And they want, not only do they want to see the like count, they want others to see it. And 
when the light count is low, it makes them feel some type of way. But that's the thing, like, I'm pretty sure her biggest number of viewers might be from the States, might be from some of these other countries that don't have a ban on likes. Okay. But to her, it matters not just it's not just money wise. Because I went to her page, the one who's in this video, she only has 43,000 followers. So you only got 43,000 followers. Why are you crying real tears on the video? It has a lot to do with self-esteem. Self-esteem plays a huge portion of this. Because I, I honestly believe that these women will do this for free. They already were. A lot of them are already doing it for free. Let me work a job outside of Instagram. They put a lot of work into Instagram, you can tell. And it's all about being able to impress, look better than other women. In my other video, I addressed this and I talked about how it really matters to these women that people are liking their pictures. That's why they put up pictures that they put up. Now, this particular female, you see her name is Michaela Testa. And if you go to Michaela Testa's page, you will see that she's doing whatever it takes to get them shares, to get them likes. It means a lot to her. I don't think it's just a brand, it's a lifestyle. <laughs> uh, and this is a reason why, man. It's It has a lot to do with their perception, how they view things. I think that we as men if we like something, we're going to like the pictures. The likes are probably going down on her page, not because they're hiding them, but because people may not like her pictures. People just may not, and people may see, they may see your page and say, we see a thousand chicks just like you. And trust and believe there's no difference with her page than any other page. A lot of these chicks are so enhanced that you can't even tell who they are authentically because they don't even know who they are 